Hi everyone, Chris at ePianos here. Today I want to show you a really useful feature on the Yamaha SX900 keyboard called Style Track Mute. Very, very useful thing to have. Opens up all sorts of creative possibilities on this keyboard. Come over to the keyboard, I'll show you exactly what it is and how you can make use of it. Make sure you're signed up to receive our weekly emails with news and reviews and more videos like this as well, special offers, and make sure you check out our huge selection of new and pre-owned keyboards on our website. So firstly, what I'd recommend is getting your two live control knobs here set up in the way that I've got them set up, um, which by pressing the assign button just here, look on the screen now, these will pop up just like that. And if you want to program them to show what I've got, style track mute B and style track mute A, best thing to do is go direct access, then assign. That'll take us to the page where you set them up. And you can just go into uh, any of these three for knob one or knob two, but I've chosen the first one and it's in the style category and it's style track B and for knob number two, style category, and then it's um, style mute A. We can do it either way around. I prefer it mute B and mute A. Okay, so dance floor is the style. I'm just gonna get it going down here using variation C. Sync, start and play A chord. Okay, and now we can hear the music playing. Now, if I turn, this left dial, knob number one down, watch what happens and listen to the music. Okay, if I put the channel up, you can watch it in real time, what's happening. As I turn the dial to the left, instruments are disappearing from the accompaniment. All the way down to the last two, and the last one, one of eight. So I can still change the chord that I'm playing and it just gives you all sorts of creative possibilities. Now I can start rolling them back in. I'm gonna to go to the dial and roll it back in. Two of eight, three of eight. Bass comes in. A bit more percussion more guitar, rhythm starts to come in, eight. Now we've got the whole accompaniment going again. Now while you're doing this, uh, you can still use the style control and do your rolls like that, or go to a different variation where you might actually get a different combination of instruments. Now what I want to show you this time is what happens if you use uh, variation B. I'm going to go back to, uh, not variation B, sorry, knob two. Okay, so I'll leave it settled on an A minor. Now, when I'm using uh, knob number two, watch what happens. Guitars are disappearing first, then the synth pad. goes, bass and drums are the only things left. Now the bass is out. And again, I can press that and it'll still do my drum rolls. Go one further and we've got just one single rhythm remaining. This, in the middle of a song, a live performance gives you a chance to do all sorts of good variations. Just have some drums on their own. And what I really like is when you start phasing things back in again. So go to knob two and start rolling it to the right. And comes the other percussion, then the bass. Four of eight now. Keep going to the right. Five of eight. Pad comes in. Eight of eight, and the whole accompaniment is now playing. Now, what another thing I like, another trick on this is I can play one of the introductions again 
Um, let's say with the left knob turned down to four of eight, have it play the intro sequence and listen to this. Imagine this is really good to use with chord looper as well. You have a set sequence of chords and you can just roll the instruments in and out that you like. Okay, bring it back up to the full. And when I decide to do an ending, I could do variation two. And maybe bring it just down to bass, guitar, bass and drum. So let's try it with a slightly different style. Uh, let's say a soft rock and pop style. Make sure they're all turned up like that. I'm gonna put it on channel again so we can see what's going on in real time. Uh, start off on say variation D, uh, C sorry, and we'll play a chord. Okay, so we've got the accompaniment going along. We've got a lot of instruments playing at the moment, but I can start to fade them out. Okay, help number one first of all, roll it to the left. Out goes the rhythm first, see the rhythm is gone. I can still play different chords. And I can take this all the way down to just guitar. Just guitar on its own, it's quite nice. Fade in number two. This works nice, just uh, acoustic and electric. Still playing my guitar. What I might do is just try that intro again and just see what effect we get of only having the guitar, the acoustic guitar and the electric guitar at once. nice fade them back in okay let's try it with knob number two now okay so what happens if we bring down knob number two percussion is the last one to go. Just bass and drums now. Play back in. Now I'm going to do an ending, but I'm going to knock it right down to just the guitar electric guitar and acoustic guitar again. It's playing the ending sequence. So that's a nice way to get a completely different type of finish using a standard accompaniment on here. Final one I want to show you is the soul shuffle, just a variation of uh, styles for you. So let's get it going with a uh, D minor seven. Quite a nice style. Okay, I'm gonna hold on that D minor seven, use knob number one, get the channel up so you can see what's happening. Roll it to the left. Percussion is first to go. goes the phase, the pad, the bass is gone, we just got piano and guitar, that's nice. I'm gonna fade back in now, bass, bring the drums back in.
carried away with the chords. So, knob two, let's see what this does. Takes out everything but the percussion and the bass until it's just the percussion. You can go all the way down to one piece of percussion. And then fade it back in. Let's see what happens if we use intro three with just those five instruments playing. So it's quite a moody intro, but let's try it again and turn everything up. Start fading it in with the intro. Vibes come in and the horns. We'll do the opposite with the ending. There we go. It's a really interesting way to get all sorts of variants on uh, the styles that are built into it. You can be so creative. You can revoice the instruments if you like, but sometimes you find a pattern that's too busy and you want to make changes to it. But frankly, it's just fun to do it on the fly sometimes and have fun during a live performance. Rather than something that's rigid and set in stone, you can really play around with it on this keyboard and um, have all sorts of fun.